Young at Heart by Pam Young. Two wrongs might make it right. I'm compelled to expose the epitome of stupidity here in my beautiful state of Washington. I'm sorry, but for the last 17 years, I've been appalled at something I think will at least make you shake your head and at best make you go along with my appallation. I know there's no such word. This weekend, Terry and I went to one of my favorite getaways, Skamania Lodge. It's nestled off Highway 14, a two-lane road that follows the Columbia River on the Washington side. I love everything about Skamania Lodge. Fabulous food, breathtaking views of mountains, a golf course, and the Columbia River, rocking chairs by a gigantic fireplace that burns real wood, and rooms with soft beds, luxuriant bath towels, and white terry cloth bathrobes that make me feel like a movie star. I love Skamania County, too. It's deep in the Columbia River Gorge, and its natural beauty is beyond comparison. I love the sound of the word Skamania. I love its people and its restaurants, like the Big River Grill, the Venus Cafe, and El Rio Texacantina. Just mention Skamania, and I'm in heaven. Except for a stretch of about 50 feet of Highway 14. That's where it is. Over the years, I've tried to describe it, this 50 feet of rock, to anyone who will listen. Even 82-year-old Myrna DeBolt, whom I consider a brilliant historian in Skamania County, doesn't know the origin of it, and most Skamaniaites don't want to talk about it. As the years have passed, at least nature is working her magic on it by growing moss to cover it. On this trip, Terry finally took a picture of it, and I couldn't get home fast enough to get this off my chest once and for all and show you what it is. I'm just guessing, but I think it is is an example of official government-sponsored vandalism at its finest, and I'd like to get my hands on and personally tattoo, like the girl with the dragon tattoo did, the idiot official who was behind this sign in our beautiful Columbia River Gorge. Here's what I'd tattoo on his or her chest. I promise to never paint on the beautiful rocks in the gorge ever again. Back then, I was just trying to help my brother-in-law who needed a job and was a sign painter by trade. I'm sorry, Washington, and especially Skamania County. Now I hope you will re-elect me as county commissioner. P.S. My brother-in-law doesn't need a job right now because he's in prison. Of course, I don't really know anything about the creeps behind this vandalism in the name of keeping Washington green and beautiful, and I really don't know how to tattoo... But I do have a solution that I'm sure would cost less than what the authorized desecration cost in the first place. Spray paint. That's right, gray, black, and brown spray paint to match the beautiful Columbia River basalt wall. I think we tourists could do it vigilante style. Each time we pass through the gorge, we could empty a can of spray paint in a gray tone. And by the end of next summer, it would be history. 